Hey, this is Marvin from MK Games and just start to talk about Wither a little bit. The first thing you want to do is select an input source. So you can do so by clicking on the top right side on the music button and then you can see that you can select your microphone as an input, load from your file system, select certain presets which I've added or also load from your local iTunes library. But it's important to note that Apple Music is at the moment not working for that. So only pieces of music you have stored on your device. The next thing I want to talk about is the performance bar. That's the bar on the bottom left side, the bar with all the knobs here. And there you can adjust certain things just on the fly by turning on or off these knobs. And you can see when I just increasing the bloom parameter, the whole scene is getting more bloomy and bloomy. And there are a lot of different things to adjust, mostly screen effects, but also some other stuff like the rotation of the visualization and so on. Just play around with that one. Then there's also a low frequency oscillator, LFO. And that one's pretty cool because you can modulate certain parameters with the LFO. The first thing is you have to configure the LFO. You can configure a, perform uh, a frequency. When I go for a low frequency, you can see that the LFO is going up and down very slow. And when I increase the frequency, the LFO is going up and down very quickly. I'm just going for a slow LFO here. And then I can configure the depth or the strange of the LFO. And next, I just choose some parameters which I want to modulate. So let's say I want to modulate the bloom parameter. And what you can see right now is that the bloom parameter is changed when the LFO is changing. So when the LFO is very high, the bloom is very intensive. And when the LFO is going down, the bloom is decreasing as well. And you can do that with a bunch of different parameters. Let's say I also want to add some operations when the LFO is going up and you can see that the operations are going up when the LFO is increasing. One of the key concepts of Wither are the different visualization modes you can choose from. So currently I'm in the equalizer mode, but when I'm using the bar on the bottom right side, I can go through all the different modes. I can select the mandala mode and the shapes mode, fluid mode, and so on. And that are different modes for visualizations, different kind of visuals you can choose from. Now here it's going to be interesting. So we have chosen a certain mode. I'm currently in the equalizer mode. And then you can adjust certain parameters for that mode. To do so, you click on the top left side on the purple button with the sliders. And then the parameter or the mode menu is popping up. There you can see that we can adjust certain options for the equalizer mode. So I can define a certain shape. I can say if I wanted to rotate the whole thing and so on. And when I changing the mode, let's say I want to go to the mandala mode, you can see that the parameters I have here are changing because I have a different visualization mode. And for that mode, I can adjust other parameters. I'm going back to the equalizer mode, turn on the rotation again, change that to triangle again, and want to shortly show you the preset options. So just say I'm using the traditional shape right here, and I really like the visual I've produced. Um, so I can just save it as a preset. So I type in a name for the preset here. Let's say we wanted to name it test. And then I click on the save button here. And now my preset, now the things you are seeing right now are saved and you can, you can come back to it later. So let's say I'm choosing something else here because I'm just playing around and I go to another mode. And then I'm going to the mode settings again and choosing my preset from the drop down and click on load. Then you can see that we are back to the things we have configured previously. Okay, we've talked about the parameters you can adjust per mode. And 
Now I want to present you the background options. So the idea behind that one is that you can adjust the background and it's applying for most of the modes you are using. So you can see that we are currently using a green background with some particles on it. And when I'm changing from the equalizer to the mandala mode, you can see that we have still this green background with some particles on it. It's more clear when I change to another mode. So I'm here in the shapes mode and you can see that there is the same background green with some particles on it. And you can configure that background once when you click on the top left side on the purple button with the rectangle. Then there is the background menu popping up. And there are a lot of different options to choose from. You can go for the flower of life, which I pretty like. And just to show you that one again, I'm currently in the equalizer mode. And when I'm clicking on the shapes mode again, you can see that the background is still remaining the same. The things in the foreground are changing, but the background are still the flowers of life. And there are really a lot of things you can discover there. So when I click on the particles, you can see that I can choose here in the drop down between a bunch of different particle effects. Then I have the X FX walls here. That's also a pretty powerful feature because I can choose a certain visual, a certain wall, and then I can say that I wanted to synchronize it to the frequencies of the audio which is currently played. You can't see that right now because I don't have a song playing with a rhythm, but when I'm making a rhythm with my hands like you can see that the background is synchronizing. Each time the bass is hitting, the background appears. That's pretty cool and I think you can do a lot of crazy stuff with that. Also, when you go for the space backgrounds, there are a lot of different options to choose from. And you can also load a custom image or use your camera as a background or just go for pure black, whatever you want. Hope it's not getting too overwhelming right now, but I just want to present you the main menu of Wisdom right now. So you can access the main menu when you click on the top left side on the blue button with the menu icon. And here we see a lot of different options you can adjust. Here's a option for some more general stuff like the quality, recording quality and so on. Here's a section for the background. We have also seen that option before in the background window. So basically I can adjust the background here, but I can also close the main menu, go to the purple button with the rectangle on it. And I can also configure the backgrounds here. It's up to you, whatever you prefer. So I'm going back to the main menu. Here we have the backgrounds. We have talked about that one already. We can adjust some options for the music. So adjusting the microphone sensitivity or the audio sensitivity. Now I want to talk about the color section. That's pretty powerful in Wisdom. So I've selected a green solid color and the thing about the colors is that they are applied for most of the visualization modes. So I'm currently in the equalizer mode and you can see that the visuals are green. And when I'm going to the mandala mode, you can see the visuals are green as well. The only exception is the milk drop mode. That's something special because in the milk drop mode, you can choose from a bunch of different presets which are defined and you can't adjust the color itself. But for all the other modes, you can just choose a color and it's applied. We can go for something more fancy and select a custom gradient, which is reacting to the music. That's pretty cool. So let's say I want to define a gradient, which is going from white to red. And I want to use the push mode, which means when there is no input, when there is silence, when I'm not speaking, then we are starting with color one. And when there is an input signal, then it's pushed toward the red color of the gradient. So you can see whenever I'm talking, the visuals are going a little bit red. And 
You can also configure it to which frequencies you wanted to synchronize the, the color changing. So currently I've chosen the bass, but you can also say that you want to synchronize it with the highest heights of your music. And whenever there are heights, heights in your music, then the color is changing. Okay, so that's about the colors. And now we are talking about the effect section a little bit more. So there are a lot of things you can adjust, like adding a bloom, adding some apparitions here and so on. You can also apply a completely, completely new color style. I can go for black and white and say I wanted to make it 100% black and white. And you can see the whole image is turning into black and white. So I will disable that for now and just want to mention that some of the effects which are here also expose to the performance bar. So I've turned on the bloom right now. I'm going to full bloom. And when I'm going to the performance bar, you can see that the bloom is turned fully on because I've configured that. And when I'm changing the bloom here, that's basically the same thing. I'm going up to zero, down to zero, sorry. And when I go into the menu, then you can see that the bloom is set to zero. So basically you can access the bloom here or you can access the bloom in the performance bar. And that goes for some other parameters as well. Then there are some options for the user interface. You can say that, the, that you want to hide the performance bar, you want to hide the record button and so on. And then you have some options for the current mode you are in. So basically that's the same as we have seen in the mode menu. So hope I'm not confusing you too much, but basically here in this section, we have options to adjust the um, mode we are currently in. I'm currently in the equalizer mode, so I can adjust the shape of my equalizer. And when I'm going to the mandala mode, there are some other parameters which I can change, like the number of segments I see in the mandala or the angel of these segments. And that's the same as we have seen before when clicking on the top left side on the purple button with the sliders. Then here we have also the parameters for a certain mode to adjust. That are also two different ways to access the same thing. So I can adjust the parameters here or I can go back to the main menu where I can also find those parameters. Here are also the presets. And on the bottom of the menu, there are some other options. So I can restore purchases, which I have done previously. So let's say I've purchased the Mandala mode and installed the app to a new device. Then I can click on restore and all my, res all my purchases are restored to the new device. I can show the tutorial again, like a small text tutorial, which is showing, showing you the basic ideas of Wisdom. And there's also some options to contact me, like you can join my Discord server or you can just write me an email. The last thing I want to talk about are the randomization options in Wisdom. So you may find it useful to set things randomly. And for that, there is a random option. You can find this option on the right side in the middle. There is a simple play button when you click on it. You can see that there is a progress bar filling up and each time it's completely filled the visuals are changing. And when you click on the dice next to it, and there is a menu where you can adjust how often the visuals are changing. So that's the loop time. Let's say I don't want to change the visuals each five seconds, but I want to choose it each 15 seconds. So there you can see that the progress bar on the right side is filling up more slowly and the visuals are changing less frequent. There is also a loop type where I can define what things I want to change. Currently I'm changing the mode parameters for the equalizer, but I also can say that I want to change the color of the equalizer. And now every 15 seconds the color is changing. I will disable this automatic function for now 
and here are also some options to randomize things manually. So let's say I want to choose a different equalizer option, then I go for random parameters and then you can see that the equalizer parameters are changing randomly when I click on that button. So the buttons here are the manual way to, to go, like you have to click on the button each time you want to change something and there is also an option to do it automatically. I can define frequency here, say what I want to change and then it's changing every whatever seconds 